Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of Batman the Telltale series. Thanks for joining me. This is going to be episode 2, part 2. Last episode we started the newest episode, Children of Gotham, where we're sort of exploring the past of the Wayne family. We went back and sort of checked out our memories of the night of the murder of our parents. I talked to Falcone in the hospital. Where he was murdered by a Either drugged Cobblepot cop. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scanned on detective. Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found for Doc's. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sickbed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. Mm -hmm. No one should act as all three. Especially not the police. he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Right. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. So... Uh, the this refined okay. drug is like a weapon. It <clears throat> took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Please. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting the whole city is crazy. one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Select a drone to search for his signal. Okay. I think I'll be over by the bridge, by the docks and the warehouses. Press A when you find a portion of the signal. Right. Oh, okay, it was kind of blinking. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Sounds like a pup. Okay, then. 
Oh, there. Yeah, don't you go. You'll be right. You're right. Yeah, okay. Well, we kind of knew that already. The Skyline Club. But we knew that. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Well, go to speak with him, empty. Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. <clears throat> yep, time to meet the Batman. Cobblepot. You're crazy. You can't just drug people. You can't have anarchy. I'm Batman. Come on, come on. I know there's going to be more around here. A man probably had millions in his sock drawer. If, if Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Your boss won't be doing much of anything. Ever again. Yeah. My right trigger not working. That's so weird. I had that problem recently. You lot, come check out this office. Where is he? I don't know. Please, Mr. James. Hey, you can help me, or you. <laughs> Let him go. Batman. It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith. I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal, she didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. to try. 
try harder than this. No. What? I hit A. Are all my, uh, is my controller dying? I really do take your rough on my... Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Yo, Kellen was our bay. We we love Catwoman and her sexy, sexy bodysuit. All right. I'm trying to think. I don't know how many episodes are out already. If it's three or four. It's a good story. Uh-oh. This, this isn't shady at all. Looks a little out of place. That Bruce Wayne? You really think he'd show up here? No. Oh, tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. Oh, she's the bartender. No, she's not. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. <laughs> Buying so someone a drink goes a long way in the real world. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. It's that invitation. Penguin. <laughs> Penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for <laughs> theatrics? You two have a lot in common. Sick burn. 
The question is, why We're Gotham? Totally gonna do why it. now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selina. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. <laughs> you and I... Uh oh Yep. <laughs> well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Perfect. Want more? Then let's give it to him. Trigger is what I'm missing here. Oh, there we go. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. Just get into the cat suit and let's work this out. Way. 
I don't think the game's gonna go there, but this re this really deserves some uh, some Catwoman, Batman sex action. Do you see anything? Negative. Let's check the other side. Get out of here. Okay. I'll take the rooftops. <laughs> you take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. I don't need to trust you. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back and just Check needs to, to have some alone time with you. News. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. Of course I gave you everything it's I have to that. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is so very he's being... shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. Yeah, if Hill's Penguin talking to Penguin, he must or know something. something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Hmm. I say we go as Batman. Going as Batman. We need to scare the, the sucker. Batman gets stuff done. Yep. Batman has yeah. the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch. When I need to be. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. <laughs> Deborah, you incompetent! Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your head. Who's there? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? You know who I am. It's time we finally met. Oh! <laughs> Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You think people will still vote for you when you've got no teeth left? I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. 
He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. His status. His fortune. You really believe that? I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family. And he's the one who profited. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum, and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> with enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. <sighs> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> no. Please. Don't. <laughs> you deserve whatever's coming for you. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Chapter 5. This is at the end? of this episode. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. <sighs> I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent Ooh. spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. 
Reports say multiple arrests were made with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path right. to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent mayor of his campaign. Catwoman. In yes. other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while we just got new information on police are seeking an unidentified man in Arkham, I wonder who why. seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path okay. to the mayor's office. Despite so the backing of billionaire story. Bruce Wayne, rumors Not persist that the candidate I don't really is see how that's helped us by helping Vicky Vale. Vale. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Assume that Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's. Well, it's not a. Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's uh -oh. the thing, Bruce. Without your money... <sighs> I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. Nope. I may have to trash you in public. But you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. You've got some nerve, Harvey. Either we're a team or we're not. No, of course we're a team, Bruce. Of course we are. Just... Not in front of the press. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? No. Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's disappointing. Right. Well, look, I have to go. The uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce. <laughs> He's gonna distance himself from us. He can distance himself from our money too. All right, well, I think that's a good place to end this episode. I hope you join me in the next one where we will have the big finale and then probably the start of the next episode, too. I hope you're having as much fun as I am, and I hope you join me next time. If you want to see more Batman, it helps me a lot. It makes me super happy when you like and subscribe. That's going to be all for now. Spinning Mats out. Namaste.